What's your favorite video game? Um, probably Call of Duty. And when I get the Advanced Warfare, that's a new one that's coming out. It looks good. Carter was nine when he was diagnosed with severe aplastic anemia. Um, so that is complete bone marrow failure. Treatment for him has been um, lots of chemo, total body radiation, and um, bone marrow transplant. I like the Spider-Man movies. The Tom Holland Spider-Man movies? Yeah, I like all of them, honestly. Tobey Maguire? Yeah, and Andrew Garfield. And Andrew <clears throat> Garfield, that's right, Andrew Garfield. You know, I've, I've had conversations even with other moms that said, you know, I just don't know how you how you do it, and you just do, because they're your babies, like you learned. A lot of side effects, nine rounds of chemo, well, body radiation, I actually just got off of, like, chemo drugs, um, like, a couple months ago. It's really hard sometimes to sum up in 3,000 worlds just a description of what our lives have been like and what, how this has affected us. At some point, you get to your breaking point and you just can't take it anymore. And though what you guys do, it refreshes all of that and it makes it so much better for all of our families and all of us. And just having a little break, just to uh, rebuild up your mindset and all that, it feels amazing. Well, probably one of the best vacations we've ever taken. There's been a lot of healing that's happened this week. A lot of joy. Total joy. I'm not gonna say the words I said. <laughs> she thought it was a scam. She's like, no, 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 don't hang up. This is real. This is legit. Oh my God! Like we got, we, we got picked. <laughs> picked for what? Like, <laughs> there's so many other families out there. You know, they'll deserve it. You know, we'll be okay. And then it's your family. And you're like, oh my God. Like, I set an alarm on my calendar when the applications opened. And then when Bridget called me, it, I just burst out in tears. In the first day alone, 100 times, best day ever, mom, best day ever, dad. I mean, I feel like everybody knows everybody after the first day. It's like finding members of your tribe that are all over the U.S. that you just hadn't had the opportunity to meet with. But you're all in it together. You know, these are all the things that Ava loves. She loves being outside. She loves to feel the wind in her face. She loves to be on the water. She just, this is her and her element. Just such a gift. I think to me, this week is about no one's different. Our children fit in and we all get it. These people aren't gonna stare at us. These people aren't gonna think we're weird. These people aren't gonna treat us differently. You don't know until you know. And it feels good to have that support of people that know. First day doing horseback riding, first time. Yeah, that was neat. Watching the kids get up on the horses. Nice done. You trust the wranglers and they do a great job with the kids, but like you just put your kid up on a giant animal, like, okay. It's neat watching them control an animal like that, right? Mm -hmm. like, For five days, do whatever you want on the schedule.
Kensington was diagnosed with laryngeal cancer at the age of 14. Uh, she's the youngest in the United States to have it. She has had a total laryngectomy, so she'll never speak again. She's had multiple reconstructive surgeries, multiple surgeries, period. But I'm going through it, okay? But it's so bad. I hate everybody. I'm going through it. But for the I'm around people that are going to keep it like, there's a lot of good that can come out of this. They gave us two months to live and told us to enjoy our time. Kensington wouldn't take that for an answer, nor would I. Four and a half years later, she's no evidence of disease. It's been a long road, but we're thankful for every piece of it. Hayden is an amazing child. He adjusts to very hard situations. He has been in and out of the hospital his entire life. He has gone through things that most kids or even adults will never have to go through. He'll recognize your voice and just seek you out, pull you in so he can wrap his arm around your neck and just give you a big hug. And He just brings a lot of joy to the family. My biggest struggle raising Caden is just watching him go through all this. Yeah. Seeing my brother get included in things that typically he, he can't do on his own, it touched me a lot because I could see that everyone really cared. I had those moments and I just, I didn't want them to end. Like, I found so many times that I just, like, had to hold myself in from crying because I just couldn't believe, like, we have this opportunity. Everything, everything. Even Carter just riding bikes and meeting a little friend and zipping around here on bicycles and watching him swim. Just being here together, even though everybody's separate ways doing their own little thing and seeing the other kids, pulls yeah. your heartstrings just a little bit. <laughs> I, I don't have any, I can't even describe it. Uh, I mean, it's the whole world. I'm, I'm really overwhelmed gratefulness to be here. It's humbling. It's very humbling. This has been a wonderful, it's been a wonderful week. Um, we've been blessed with so many things. I watched her live again, and that's important. that every day is a blessing. I mean, you don't take one day for granted. When life can be taken away so fast, it's not the pictures and the things that you have. It's the memories. That's what it's about. So, forever thankful. Everybody go yee-haw. <laughs>